We're expecting it to bring between $300,000 and $500,000. We're standing right in front of the large uh, Curtis MF flying boat, which dates from roughly 1917-1918 period. We understand that they cost roughly $6,000 in those days. Uh, Navy aircraft built by Curtis, um, literally within a decade of the uh, of planes being built at all. It's a biplane, as you can see, we've got two, two structures there of wings. It's powered by a, a V8 Curtis engine, which would have provided about, a, about 100 brake horsepower. The machine itself would have flown on the, in the air between about 50 and 70 miles an hour. Um, and it would have been stationed, uh, we believe, on the, on the water, probably on the lakes. Uh, on, it's a freshwater machine that would have patrolled just the, uh, the beaches and the sea bays. The condition, uh, given its age, um, we're getting on for something that's nearly 100 years old, is actually quite, quite remarkable. As far as we can tell, everything is there. The nose all the way back to here, you're talking about roughly 28 feet uh, in length. And then if you're taking it right from the, uh, the top wing across, you've got 50 fi 56 feet is the spread from there. That whole section from, from here all the way out totally dismantled. The bolts would come out of here, that would hinge downwards, it would rest on this, um, and then you could literally separate it from the main hull. The idea uh, behind this plane was actually what they term a pusher, that the, uh, the, end, the, the plane effectively would be pushed along rather than, than being pulled. In the cockpit here, two steering wheels, there would have been uh, two people in here. One would have been the professional and the other would have been being trained. This is uh, believed to have been a trainer aircraft. That's a throttle control. There's your altitude gauge you see on the left hand side there. This is going to be a water temperature gauge. Um, this, here's your, your gas, gas pump gauge, the oil pressure gauge I believe there as well and an oil temperature. And then there's, your, uh, there's the speed of the engine. Probably going to be running at 1500, 2000 RPM. The engine is, is powerful but reliable um, and that it isn't stressed. That's your gas gauge sitting there. There's your gas tank. The gas came from there and on your, on your dash that you'll see down here, you would have been pumping the fuel to make sure that you had good enough pressure. <laughs> There is, there is no reason why it couldn't be flown once it, once it had been restored and tested. Mm -hmm.